so we're taking on a classic here with Ramble On. I've seen a lot of guys playing this different ways. Some guys are doing it up here. You know, and that's pretty easy to do up there. And if you want to play it up there, that's fine. You know, it sounds good, but that's not what's happening on the record, okay? So again, what I'm trying to do here is to um, pick off the parts that are played on the record. And it actually makes it a lot easier because a while back, a few years back, somebody released uh, an isolated parts, like isolated guitars, isolated drums, isolated everything. So I got a hold of the isolated guitar track and it just makes it a lot easier to hear exactly what's going on. For such a simple song and such a mellow song, it's actually pretty hard to play properly and it takes a lot of energy. There's a lot of stuff going on with the acoustic guitar. So anyways, let's get right into it. There's basically going to be five parts that you need to learn. Um, there's the main lick, and then there's a whole bunch, there's like six, five or six variations on that main lick. And then there's the pre-chorus, that part. They do that twice in the song, and they're both different, so there's a variation on that too. And then we've got the chorus, oh. and that's the same pretty well, yeah, that's always the same. And then we've got the bridge. That part, and then we got the ending, which is just a that part there. Okay, so we'll get right into it. The main section, basically, what's happening is it, it's it's here. Uh, it, a lot of bar chords. Okay, and a lot of strumming, like strumming like the entire six strings. It starts on this E bar chord, and how we want to do that bar chord is we want to always have that open E ringing. Okay. We want to use kind of a lighter pick that has a bit of give in it again, right? And we want to have a real light touch on the string. We don't want to be going... We don't want to hammer the crap out of the strings, right? We just want to have a bit of a light touch. And you'll notice if you listen to the track that uh, he starts out quite mellow. And then as the track progresses, he gets more and more aggressive, okay? So what we've got to think about is, you know, it's like a lot of acoustic stuff, just up and down, up and down, up and down. And then you're accenting certain beats with the chords, right? The accents in the opening are kind of like... Right? That's what your, your ear is sort of grasping onto. But in the background, he's actually strumming all the time. So he's going... Right? Okay. And that second chord is... Uh, it's like a D but it's over an E bass, and we wanna, we wanna kinda raise our wrist up a little bit there because we wanna get the, the low E, the, the E on, on uh, A7, the A note on D7, and the D note on G7. And we wanna have that, well, we don't want that open B there. We wanna mute that, and we wanna have that open E ringing. So we wanna kinda get that. That's the note you're going to hear the most, but that's in there too, okay, so, okay, so, and, and the tendency is to want to stop there, right, but it keeps going, but it's, it's in the back, right, the first, first one is quite prominent, and then you got all this stuff kind of going in the back, okay? Now the next bit is this really cool chord, which is uh, like A10, or what is that, A9, D7, G9. And again, we wanna, we wanna have that B ringing, the open B, and the E. Okay, so I guess that chord would be, it's like an E9 with a suspended fourth, right? So it's E9 sus4. Okay, and how that works, a lot of guys you'll see play it, they just go. But you can definitely hear this in there. Right, you can hear that. So what we wanna do there is go. We're there. On the upstroke, we're going to let go of it, 
and then we're gonna put our third finger on the uh, D9, okay? To get the B note, right? So, we'll get that, right? And that little rhythm there, right, that it goes throughout the whole song. That is used so much. Okay, so that's something you got to get in your head because he's always doing that, right? Um. There it is again, right? Okay, so that's the second part. Anyways, this first part is always the same. Although the first time it doesn't slide in, it just starts it, but every other time it slides. Okay, so that, that's the same every time, so we don't need to worry about that, okay? And then we head down into the A, and when we go to the A, we want to slide into the A, okay? And I, I, I'm actually just inserting this little bit here because later on in this video, as I'm explaining these parts, I'm not sliding because I just forget to do that sometimes. So I just want to, you know, make you aware that there's definitely a slide going into that A. So Okay, so you want to definitely get that slide in there. All right, this next part, there's a ton of variations, okay? But I'll show you the main one. The main one is this. Sometimes he goes, da, 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 da. and other times he goes, da, 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 da. he leaves out at one beat, okay? The way you do that, it's like an A chord, it's like an A bar chord, but he's just playing it here. Got that open E, and we've got the D in there, okay? So the suspended fourth, right? And you see a lot of guys will just go, You know, but this little bit here is really important to me because to me it gives it its kind of signature sound. So he's going. Okay, so it's suspended. And then it's an upstroke on the B string. And you're kind of coming down to that A, right? Okay? And there's that rhythm again, right? And if you think about it, those two match each other. It's like an equation of balances, right? So the first one is... Right? Da, 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 da. And then the answer is... Right? So... Okay? That's the main look, and that, that happens in the song probably... I don't know, man, a lot. But then you've got a bunch of variations, and I'll show them to you. I don't know if you want to use them, but I think certain ones are important. Like when he starts singing, that's when the first one happens, okay? So leaves are falling on the ground. Okay, so that's just simply. Okay, that's your first one. And then your second one comes right after that. That's an interesting one because how that works is the bass is kind of going. Right? The upper strings go. thing is there is the you can definitely hear that bass okay that's the second one and then there's a third one the second verse there's eight patterns of that lick 
and this variation comes on the third one. And then we're back in here, so it's like... Stroke on that open B. It's the A suspended. Okay, and the very next one is another variation that, that goes to like this. We do that again. Uh, these are real feel licks, you know, like you've got to really kind of get in that mindset that he was in when he was playing this part. I think there's one more that... Uh yeah. So instead of going... He goes... That is the last one in the second verse. I'm sure none of this was planned, pre-planned. It was just he was just jamming it, you know. But we've been listening to it for 40 years, right? So we want to play it like he played it. So it's up to you whether or not you want to use all those variations, or maybe you just want to do your own variations. But that's all of them there. And uh, but I think getting the main one is really, really critical. So that's the main lick, and then we go into the pre-chorus. And this is really pretty cool. And you don't hear this in the main track, because the guitar, the electric guitar just overshadows what the acoustic is doing here. But this is pretty cool. So what he does here, he starts with an E major 7. It's like an E major, and then you put the third up there, but you also grab that one, the E flat. So you get that major seven. It's like a jazz chord, right? Now you can play it in other places. You can play it here. Or you could play it here. But I think he plays it here because he's coming out of this. Uh, and he's right there. So bang, that's easy to get to, right? So that's your first chord. And the next chord is like an A, but with uh, C sharp in the bottom, the, the third in the bottom. And all this is bouncing off this E string, right? So, okay, so. Next chord, we raise that up two frets and put our little finger here on B7. So. Okay. And we don't want to play the, the E there. Don't want to play the E here either. I mean, if you get it, it's not the end of the world, but that's more what we're hearing, so. Okay, and then we go to this A. And it's cool because he plays the A, and then he does this. Right, just A, the open A. In the open E. Okay. And then he does it again. And then he does that cool lick, which is again that rhythm I told you about, right? But he goes. So that end one is just an E, it's not the E major 7s. And this is an F sharp minor 7. Okay, just like that one, just like the A with the C sharp in the bass. But only you're now you're changing the bass note to uh, F sharp instead of E. Okay, you can definitely hear that there. So. And 
then the straight E. Okay, now we'll repeat it. And then we do that. Uh, from the F sharp, minor 7. Okay, we're just sliding up to the uh, E5 and um, A7, like an A chord. Just that part, with those open strings ringing. It goes into the chorus, but what I'm going to do, do is show you the variation on this same part that comes later. The second time we play this, it's a little bit different. Okay, so what changes there um, is we start with that E major 7. That's all the same. But we land on the on the E major seventh instead of the straight E. Okay. Do it again. But this time, instead of going here and here, we're gonna go here and here. We're gonna do an F sharp minor seven to a G sharp minor seven. Okay. I mean that's so weird, man. It's like, like jazz chords, right? Okay, and then A. And we don't do that. Don't do that there. We just. Uh, then we're getting ready for the chorus. Okay, so let's just go over that, that second variation one more time. Do it real slow. And then we're into the chorus. The chorus is here. It's, it's up in this E shape. And then we go to that chord, that uh, E, what do I call it? E9 suspended 4. Okay. We want to make sure we're open. we got that open E and B ringing now. Okay, and then we come into this lick. We slide. We're going to go with our third finger D5. And on the B string, we got the third fret. And we slide that up two frets. Okay, so we're... I mean, the open G there is good, but up here, we don't really want it. We just want the A and the two E. Slide it down two frets, and it's just kind of open D, open G, and then D to G, but without, we don't need that. So, so that whole chorus ends slowly, do the scratchy thing, right? Go to the G. It doesn't really make that much difference there. Probably better to go to the G. And that goes four times, okay? And then coming out of that, we're back into the verse. So the last time would be like... the bridge part. So out of the chorus, the bridge comes in like this. What that is, 
is just just that A with the open E, right? And then we do like this. We go down two frets, play a G. We add the ninth. We play the open A string, right? And the first time he hits it, he kind of kind of does one of those things instead of just going. He goes. Separates the notes a bit. Back to the A. Right, so you kind of half half the amount of time on those chords that second time, right? And then you just repeat the whole thing. So all together, from from coming out of the chorus, it's a little slower. back into the verse right okay so you're getting there man we're getting close the only thing we've got left now is the ending and the ending is actually really simple and that that comes out of a chorus too so it starts here on an E7 goes to A7 and then instead of coming back here he goes up here to this voice it's like an like an E bar chord you know but you've got the seventh right so we've got hopefully you know that chord a7, D9, G7, B9. You can hear that note in there, right? The first one you don't, it's here. And the reason it's there, I think, is because we're coming out of that chorus, so. And we're right there. So we can just get into that E7 real easy. Right here. And we go up. Throw this sixth in here. That note there. You just kind of jamming that around, right? And he just kind of jams that out, and uh, that's the end of the song. You know, what seems like a relatively easy song, this has actually taken me a long time to get these parts down because it's Jimmy Page, and he has a very unique way of playing the guitar. Very quirky, and uh, it's unique to him, right? So it's tough to get these parts and get them nailed down. And I can't be totally positive this is exactly what he's doing, but it's pretty close. You know, don't do that, man. That's, that's, no, it's here. Okay, hope you get something out of it. See you next time.